As Christianity spread through Europe, people became more concerned on where their soul would end up. Monasteries popped up across the world, and hundreds of cathedrals followed. Medieval monks were some of the most holy, leaving behind their lives and living ones of praise to God. They were completely self-sufficient, growing everything they needed, and were responsible for the preservation of thousands of historical documents they called manuscripts. But what would it be like to be a monk? Hello, my name is Benedictus. I'm a monk here at the monastery, and I've been a monk here in northern France since I was age of five. I never actually had a real family. My uh, mom died of the plague when I was very young. So, on a more positive note, let me show you around. If you will walk inside, see, this is where we praise the Lord every single morning, starting at 3 a.m. We pray nearly eight times every single day if we're not doing things like working in the fields or inscribing manuscripts. While in the fields, we do plowing, haymaking, reaping, thatching, and sowing. On top of that, we all have our own responsibilities and jobs to keep this monastery running, like elector, sacrist, cantor, almoner, and abbot, to name a few. I myself am a sacrist. The sacrist is a monk responsible for the safekeeping of the books and the library and for the maintenance of the monastery's buildings. When it's time for prayer, all monks must stop what they're doing and attend services here. At 10 o'clock a.m., we go to the chapter meeting held in the chapter house and confess our sins. The meeting begins with a prayer, after which the rule of St. Benedict is read out. You are then invited to admit your faults and atone for them. Anyone who does not voluntarily confess is reported and punished. We eat dinner at exactly 1.30 p.m. every single day. The food is prepared by the monks using food grown at the monastery. Please remember, friends, to always praise God because there's only one life on earth but an eternity in the fire and burning pits of Monasteries in the Middle Ages were based on the rules set down by St. Benedict in the 6th century. The monks became known as Benedictines and took vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience to their leaders. They were required to perform manual labor and were forbidden to own property, leave the monastery, or become entangled in the concerns of society. Daily tasks were often carried out in silence. Monks went to the monastery church eight times a day routinely. The first service, Mantins, began at 2 a.m. and the next seven followed at regular intervals. Vespers in the evening and compline before the monks retired at night. Between their prayers, the monks read or copied religious texts and music. The monks were very well educated and devoted their lives to writing and learning. 